I'm going to uh, talk about actually the reason why PASC 2017 is in Lugano. So Boas Eres uh, talked about this yesterday, and he was definitely had the you know the right answer when he said PASC 2017 is in Lugano because of CSS. I, I think he said that. And, uh, but he left out a few things, okay, one, and he was actually also very blunt act, uh, and, and honest about why CSES is, is in Ticino, uh, came to Ticino 25 years ago, um, and, uh, but what he left out is the reason why CSES is in Lugano and no longer in Mano. And, uh, and then also ex exactly saying why PASC 2017 is here, and so I would like to explain this. Um, CSES is in Lugano because, as you said, there was an initiative, uh, I think that was passed around in the political uh, arena around, or started to be passed around in 2006, 2007, so 10 years ago, uh, and I was in, I don't know the details, I was still in the US, very happy, never thinking I would come to Switzerland back for work, and, um, uh, and, and then there were two advocates of this initiative, uh, very strong advocates, uh, uh, one of which was, was Ralf Eichler that we talked about two years ago when PASC was in Zurich. And the other one was Piero Martinoli. Uh, Ralf Eichler was the president of ETH Zurich and Piero Martinoli was the, then the president of uh, uh, the University della Svizzera Italiana in Lugano. And they, I think, can be credited for, for not just PASC, but for all the good things that have happened around supercomputing in, in Switzerland. Um, two years ago, Ralf Eichler had stepped down, retired, and we honored him at the PASC conference 2015. And this is now literally true, because I know when we decided that PASC uh, uh, would come here, we knew, so Piero was like very uh, energetic president of the university here and would keep on going and he had some jobs to finish. Uh, so it was clear that he would not reti be retired a year later. So we didn't do it in Lugano, but in Lausanne uh, uh, in 2016. But it was also, we were quite sure that he would be retired uh, uh, by, by, uh, by this summer, and so we could safely plan 2017 here. And this is really why uh, we, we did it here, so that we could, Piero, and I would like to ask you to come to the stage, uh, 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 acknowledge uh, you as uh, the previous uh, president of, of uh, UZI, uh, who was really pushing um, PASC, and that's why I think it's very appropriate that we, we, uh, we honor you here, because I need to say one more thing. When I st started here, I was told, the first week, I was told I have to write a proposal. And the proposal was about creating a network of computers in Switzerland, and, and we were trying to rationalize this, and I was kind of wondering, well, I've been hired to build better scale computers here, uh, and I think you've seen the statistics about the abundance of floating point operations or memory operations or whatever we have in Switzerland per capita. And uh, uh, we are, we are, and you certainly heard about it last week. And so I was like wondering, why do we buy clusters when we, uh, when we? build these, these, these machines in such a country, and we had a discussion, and then Piero basically said, well, you know, it needs to be a network. It, we didn't really say it, it has to be clusters, and so out of this discussion then came the idea that we could actually write the proposal differently, namely uh, uh, write about um, a, a, a network of developers that would be distributed at all universities. So this was the first time, I would say, and, and this is in, back in 2008, 2009, that you know, a program would invest rather in 
in hardware would invest in software developers. And what then happened, uh, uh, this is just to show, you need people who can convince the politicians and the other rectors. So we submitted the proposal, uh, and, um, and then he, 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 it came back. And I thought, okay, now I get hopefully a positive decision from the US. I was used to also getting negative decisions on the ideas like software development. And, and, uh, and, and we came back, he came back with a positive decision, but a charge to rewrite the proposal for a much bigger amount of money. So this really never had happened to me, that I actually had the proposal accepted, but we had to write a, a bigger proposal. That then led to the first program we called HP2C, or High Performance, High Productivity Computing, that was funded from 2009 to 12. 10 to th 12 or 13. To yeah, I think 9 to 12 it was, and, and so we had to catch up. And, uh, and then the successor project was called PASC, and is the platform I described. And so this is really thanks to you, and that's why I think we, we need to now uh, uh, honor you with the present, uh, uh, the Physiker from Friedrich Dürrenmatt. So this is a 1962 edition. Uh, 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 um, and actually, before you take it out, I, have to, I was instructed, I have to give you the manual how this is done. Okay. Uh, otherwise, somebody will have a heart attack down there in the audience. Okay. Thank But uh, uh, thank you very much, you. Piero. Really, thank you very much for all your efforts. And I think on behalf of all, uh, all the past PIs. Just a couple of words. I would like to... Uh, stress that this was the work of a trio, let's say. Uh, it's not only my merit, the first, the, 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 the very important person in the frame was well, Thomas well. Schultes, that when he, uh, he arrived here, he was hired as a di director of the CSCS. We met in Lugano that day, actually in a grotto nearby here, and we had a lunch. He had already all the ideas of developing on the national level the uh, computational sciences. So I am deeply, uh, I was deeply impressed by that, uh, by that meeting. And uh, the second person you mentioned it is Ralf Eichler, uh, the former president of the ETH in Zurich. And the trio functioned very well because we were really friends. And um, three physicists, actually Thomas, a theoretical um, uh, condensed matter physicist, uh, Ralf Eichler, a particle, experimental particle physicist, and I am an experimental condensed matter physicist. So we worked together, it was a beautiful team, and I would like to thank them very, very much for the friendship, for the support, and for, for everything they did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Piero, so I need to explain how you, oh, because Michele said, uh, you know, this, the Dürrenmatt was uh, to the American and Asian and non-Swiss colleagues, uh, Dürrenmatt was one of the most important uh, authors of the German-speaking part of Switzerland in the 20th century, and he wrote a play, Die Physiker, and actually... I don't know if you anticipated this or so, but it had three physicists in there, uh, and uh, uh, or, or, or three who, who yeah. Uh, those who know the play know what I'm talking about, and I think we're not the nutty physicists. That we are pragmatic ones here, I hope. Yes. And, and so this is a, um, a version of the play, an edition from uh, um, 1962, And the reason why you can't just open it like a book is because the pages will fall on the floor. And Michele explicitly told me that uh, I think he would get a heart attack and, and there was no computer scientist in this book, so we would change the play. <laughs> uh, and and um, so it's a, this, and, and it has, ori so there was an, an um, besides Dürrenmatt represented in here is actually Hans Erni, who was one of the famous illustrators, and so there are some lithographs from Hans Erni originals in here, yep. uh, many actually, yep. you, you can look at it, and then in the, at the end there is the original signature by 
Friedrich Dürrenmatt, Hans Erni and the editor uh, uh, Otto Brechbühl. Okay, so that's the, the book. I will put it back in here and put it in your responsibility now. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Very good. Thanks for coming. <laughs>